welcome back. This is Bosco with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I'm joined, as always, by my unhypnotized squad of Radio Rosa, Cecil, and Edge. When we last left off, Kane was hypnotized, so I decided to do some side questing. We are going to continue doing that today. We are headed into Fable because this is where we need to go. To, to start this, I should say, to start this. We need to go visit Yang's wife. It's been a while since we've seen Yang. He, last we saw him, he was unconscious. And we don't know how to get him conscious. So, let's go talk to his wife. I'm sure she's worried about him. What's up? He's in the underground. Yes, yes he is. Why'd you do a little spin? Come on. This onion makes my eyes watery. Sure, sure, has nothing to do with your husband. That's not the way he should be. Give him a good one with this. And she gives us a frying pan to hit him upside the head with. Let's go do it. I'll meet you, uh, well, underneath the cave where, where Yang is. Hope you guys remember where that is. And we're back at the bottom of the Sylph Cave, ready to talk to Yang and smack him upside the head with a frying pan. What are you guys up to? What's up, Sylphs? They, they're not fans of mine still. Right. Nobody says anything new. Smack him upside the head. That That's not what I wanted to do. I tapped the button too damn fast. And I think I used a cure one, damn it. Use the pan. Oh, don't. It's the only way. His wife told me to. Already the time for training. Let me sleep a little longer. No. You have to get up. Oh, Cecil. Yang. Oh, great. Self saved me when I was in trouble. Your brave act saved the dwarves. I am going with you. No, you stay and rest. That's what they sound like. That's totally what they sound like. The whole world is in danger. I cannot. It's no place for the injured man. Who are you? I'm Prince Edge of Eblon. That's still a weird name for me. Much better fighting than you, man. Eblon. So you are a ninja? Then I will. No, don't force yourself. We'll help them instead. She is a caller. She can call us. We'll help you. Thank you. And Radia has learned the Sylph Summon because of this. Sorry, I cannot be of any help now. That's it? Mm. Yang needs to rest. How violent! <laughs> no, we're not violent. Never worry about Yang, we'll take care of him. Oh, I bet you will. I bet you will. I swore he said something else. I swore Yang said something. No. Maybe when I leave here? Go out this way? No. I swore there was another line. Maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself. Nope, apparently that's it for him. That's it. So I'm actually going to meet you back in Fable. I thought he told us to go back there, but he doesn't. So I will just meet you there. And we're back in Fable. And ready to talk to Yang's wife. He's doing fine. <sighs> he smacked him upside the head. You can have the pan back now. Sorry for taking all your time. Take this with you. And we get the spoon. The spoon. Don't worry about me. Tell Yang to get well soon and fight with you. Now, luckily, we don't have to go back to Yang. Uh, yes, we actually did get a spoon. This is actually a throwing item, believe it or not. It's the most powerful throwing item in the game. Later, uh, later games call it a knife instead of a spoon, but... I think it's funnier as a spoon, to be honest with you. So, we are actually ready to move on. So, I am actually going to uh, to meet you back in Mesidia, actually. Right next to Mesidia. And we're just outside of Mesidia here, ready to board the whale. Let's get on the whale! Oh. Whoa. This is a lot fancier than... I thought it was going to be. This doesn't look like Pinocchio at all. Ooh. That's the... 
but oh sweet you can follow it around very nice very nice so I found the controls you guys I totally found them those, those are them right there uh, this is actually going to take us up to the moon so that's the last thing I want to do while I'm here now here you can find a little spot to nap which is always nice hooray now I don't need to rest at end ends anymore. Not that I really needed to, but, you know, it's convenient. And there's a fat chocobo hanging out down here. What else could I possibly need? So, yeah, I think I actually need to drop stuff off here. I'll do that right now. Okay, dropped off quite a, f quite a bit of equipment, I should say. I should not need most of it. Uh, should it, so I cleared up a ton of room. Let us head for the moon! Just have to touch that crystal there. And how does the lunar whale get to the moon? Why, it just goes straight up, of course. Now, unlike Final Fantasy III, we have a little bit of a downgrade uh, for the first time in airship technology. There are no shops in the lunar whale, as you guys saw. And we've made it to the moon. It was quite a short journey. I didn't expect it to be quite that short to be honest with you but as you can see here we have a very small planet I mean this there's only the one tower so let's go and I went all the way around the moon from, from by going north you want to see it all the way to the east ta-da that's the entire planet very very small the moon so what we need to do is head into this tower right here the only place really that we can go right now so let's go here and land. Now I'm going to uh, rest and save and I will meet you on the surface. Are you guys ready for our first moonwalk? Let's take it on! Hooray! We don't need special helmets or nothing. We can take this on. We're in the lunar path! How descriptive. And we've got enemies. We've got puddings and we've got Proceotes, I assume. Now these guys are kicking my ass already. Hooray! Let's go for a Cure 3. We're gonna have to bump up everything here. Go for level 3 spells. We're gonna go with Fire 3 across the board. And hopefully that should be enough to take these guys out. Now that we're on the moon though, everything is tougher. These puddings, of course, are pretty much immune to physical damage. Uh, you can get one damage off by hitting them. But really, you want to use magic on them. So you can take them out like that. You get 4,450 gil, 3,555 experience. Now let's head up. Really? Like two steps? Let's head over to the east first, and over here we can get ourselves monsters! Are there going to be new monsters here? We do have Jupliotes. Not exactly sure what those are. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that either, but they are there. But it's, uh, it's moon creatures. Who's to say how to pronounce them properly? Once again, let's go with I Ice. We'll see if we can freeze things on the moon. Even though they should be pretty used to the cold. They are so far from the sun with no atmosphere. No, poisoned. Damn you, Procyote. Oh, screw you. I hate you. And all your works. Go, Cure 3. Go Ice 3 as well. Not enough to finish off anything. That is very disappointing, to be honest with you. Go Cure 3. We should be able to finish these guys off this turn. Right is probably not going to be able to finish them, but... Just, uh... Just fight it. Good lord, these guys hit hard. Why you hit so hard? Why you keep on poisoning everything as well? Down goes the Procyote. And we have one. We get 6,820 gills, 7,650 experience. Not enough for level ups anywhere, though. We do get an elixir out of that, so I guess it was worth it. Hold on while I heal everybody of poison. 
let's continue on. We need to head up north here because there is more to be explored. In fact, it looks like there's actually a staircase leading out of here. But first, I want to grab these treasure chests over here. We get a heal potion and a cure too. Always appreciated. Looks like there could be something back there, but I highly doubt it. Let's just get out of here. And we've made it back onto the surface of the moon. We need to head east now. As you can clearly see, you don't, you have to go this way. Uh, these rocks are blocking your path from where your ship is. And hooray, we found new enemies. Hooray, I took out the grenade. That was one of the ones I was scared of, actually. Let's just use the cure too, because we haven't really gotten hit yet. But I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Now let's go for a fire three again. We need these things to die. Go cure two. I helped a little bit. Helped a little bit. Doesn't. No, do not hit righty. No, that is not what I wanted at all. Go ahead and aim for whatever is left. Which is just the Jukleot. Which should probably die to edge. Down it goes. And we get 5,950 gil, 5,912 experience. Edge gains a level high of that as well. We get a cure one. Nice. But first, we need to head down here. Yeah, these rocks, you can't go through them. Any of the rocks on the map. So we just need to continue going through here. We are headed for the, the tower, the crystal tower. Just like in Final Fantasy 3, to be honest with you. But this one goes by a different name. Same enemies, though. Let's keep going and just take two or three steps. That's fine. 